on the presentation of arguments, we started with affirmative. And now we will start with the negative arguments for the rebuttal by Lady Belinda Galvez, the fourth speaker of the negative team. And first rebuttal, defending affirmative arguments by Mark Hill, Vilia Gracia, the fourth speaker of the affirmative team. And second rebuttal, Nor Nonalyn Elispe, fifth speaker of the negative team. And second rebuttal by Jerry Glatt, no? of the affirmative team. And of course, presentation of closing statement. At the same time, the speaker here can also give his or her own rebuttal. Okay? At the same time, presentation of closing statement. Isabella Pilios of the negative team. And last is uh, the presentation of closing statement by Sweet Althea Marquette. And of course, after the presentation of arguments and rebuttals, we will do the debriefing and open forum. So that means you can ask your questions to the different the speakers of both sides, the pro and cons. Okay? The affirmative and negative. Prepare your questions. You can write your own questions and you can you can ask them some questions. And it would be do not be ashamed to ask don't be ashamed to ask questions. It will give them points. No? It will give them points. Okay? Next. This is now the criteria for judging teams. Because we will declare best team. No? Best team. And we will also declare uh, award best speaker. And of course, best debater. There would be three awards that will be given this afternoon. Okay? So, criteria for judging. Organization and clarity. Viewpoints. Responses are outlined both clearly and orderly. Uh, the judges will give one as the lowest score and four as the highest score. And second criteria, criterion is the use of arguments. The reasons are given to support viewpoint. And number three, sorry, one more time. Use of examples and facts. Examples and facts are given to support reasons. And the number four, the use of rebuttal. And presentation of style is the last. So in the criteria for judging teams, there will be five criteria. And this is the criteria for judging the best speaker and best debater. Best speaker, they're same criteria. However, there would be no criteria, no specific criteria for rebuttal. Aga wala na po dito ma'am ang rebuttal. Because the speaker would not rebut. Okay? And pareho lang ang, ang criteria. And for the, the best for the best debater, the only one that is taken that is taken away is the presentation of arguments. So same criteria except for the presentation of arguments. Okay? So now we will proceed to our debate proper men. We are going to have our debate about death penalty. Both affirmative and negative teams will present their arguments. This time, a column, Crislan Diana Bakahin, the first speaker of the affirmative team. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give her a round of applause. Good afternoon, everyone especially the judges and the audience. We, the trust and belief that the death penalty can give peace to us, especially in our country. And we also believe that the death penalty can make more people be responsible and disciplined. The death penalty is a type of capital punishment in which the accused is put to death as punishment for the crime he committed. The death sentence is a judicial decree in which the accused is sentenced to death. The capital punishment 
awarded for those crimes that are considered capital crimes, such as murder, terrorism, and other severe crimes. The capital punishment or death penalty was practiced more often in the societies in the past. That now, most of the developed nations have abolished this punishment. There are only 58 counties currently practicing the death penalty punishment. Thus, the human rights activists are against this type of punishment. Still, death penalty is a controversial matter and arguments are available and support and against this type of capital punishment. In terms of the number of countries who abolish this punishment, they are more numerous than the, than the countries where the death penalty is still practiced. But in terms of population, there is 60% of the world's population which lives in the, in the countries where the death penalty is still practiced. The death penalty punishment is still available in four of the most populous countries in the world, including China, India, and the United States. Before the beginning of the human capital punishment used in society, penalties included burning to death, slow slicing, slow slicing crucifix, crucifix serve, crushing, disembodiment, stunning, burning, and etc. In earlier times, the death penalty was used for very few reasons. And several militaries around the world imposed the death penalty as thus a posterity. While most industrialized countries utilize lethal injection or electric chair for capital punishment. Society is just ordered when each person receives what is due to him. Crime disturbs this just order for the criminal takes from people their lives, peace, liberties, and worldly goods in order to give himself undeserved benefits. Deserved punishment protects society morally by restoring this just order, making the wrong the world pay a price equivalent to the harm he has done. This is retribution, not to be confused with revenge, which is, which is guided by a different motive. In retribution, the spur, the spur, the spur is the virtue of exaltation, which answers injury with injury for public good. Retribution is the primary purpose of just punish, punishment. As such, rehabilitation, protection, and deterrence have a lesser. And one last thing, there is no capital punishment if there are no such crimes. That's all for Nancy Bain Reyes. Good afternoon to our fellow audiences and especially to our wonderful judges. As Chris Lyme Bayan said, that penalty is useful, but we can use other punishment like forever prison. And I have six reasons why I disagree about that penalty. First, the death penalty is racist. The death penalty is applied in a racially biased manner. The bias extends not only to the race of the defendants singled out for death sentences, but also to the race of the victim. When it comes to the death penalty, the lives of minorities are valued less than that of whites. African Americans are 12% of the U.S. population, but 42% of prisoners are on death row. And Pennsylvania, Louisiana, and Maryland, and in the U.S. military and federal system, more than 60% of those on that road are black. Virginia, Arkansas, and Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Ohio all have death rows where more than 50% are African American. 
Although blacks constitute approximately 50% of murder victims each year, 80% of the victims in death penalty cases were white, and only 14% were black. Of the over 18,000 executions that have taken place in this country's history, only 42 involved a white person being punished for killing a black person. According to Amnesty International, more than 20% of black defendants executed since 1976 were convicted by all white juries. In 1972, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that death penalty laws in the U.S. were unconstitutional in part because capital punishment was rife with racial disparities. Second, the death penalty punishes the poor. If you can afford good legal representation, you won't end up on that road. Over 90% of defendants charged with capital crimes are indigent and cannot afford an experienced criminal defense attorney. They are forced to use inexperienced, underpaid, and overworked lawyers. Many capital trials last less than a week. Hardly enough time to present a good defense. The results are predictable. It is clear that O.J. Simpson been poor. He would now be on death row, innocent or guilty. Third, the death penalty condemns the innocent to die. Since 1973, 123 people in 25 states have been released from death row with evidence of their innocence. Given the way in which the justice system hurts the poor through its gates, it is no wonder that it often ensnares innocent people. The use of player games and leniency in exchange for slitch testimony often results in the least guilty serving the most time. Often, police and prosecutors, whether under pressure or in the effort to further their careers, make quick arrests and ignore evidence that denies points in other directions. In January 2003, Illinois Governor George Ryan commuted the sentence of all the states that wrote. Arguments. The second speaker of the affirmative team is Malcolm C.J. Sabia. There are two reasons that I agree with the proposition that death penalty law be restored. First, it prevents the citizens to commit heinous crimes. To that penalty, the people will be afraid of doing rape crimes, include rape, robbery, drug addiction, and other heavy crimes. When the criminal is punished by death in public, the people who, who will see will think not to do any forms of heinous crimes. The capital punishment is very useful to us, especially the people who will easily take innocent lives. Death penalty or capital punishment can lessen several crimes in the Philippines. Our country, it can also help people that who needs justice. Rita Prostin doesn't say that death penalty is a type of war because it kills people. Death penalty kills criminals. The crimes of rape, torture, prison, kidnapping, murder, larceny, and perjury by law. On a moral code that escapes a predictive and is put up with truth. Proof by expert 
testimony or otherwise. But the community would plunge into anarchy if they could not act on moral assumptions. Less certain than that the sun will rise in the east and set in the west. Abolitionists may contend that the death penalty is inherently immoral because governments should never take human life, no matter what the provocation, but that is an article of faith, not of fact. The death penalty honors human dignity by treating the defendant as a free moral actor to able to control his own destiny or for good or for evil. It does not treat him as an animal with no moral sense because an execution method may result in pain, either by accident or as an inescapable consequence of death does not establish the sort of objectively intolerable risk of harm. Quoting the opinion of the court from former B. Brennan, 511 U.S. 825, 842, 846 to 1994, that qualifies as cruel and shares with 35 other states. Kentucky decision to adhere to its protocol cannot be viewed as productive method of execution as being challenged in this court as cruel and unusual. The court has rejected the challenge or society has none, nonetheless steadily moved to more human methods of carrying out capital punishment. Let's give a round of applause for the presentation of arguments by Joshua Lou B. Simanos of the Negative Team. I have a reason that I disagree in that direction. If particular punishment is immoral in principle and unfair and discriminatory in practice, no one deserves to die. When the government leaves out and gains this price as justice, it becomes complicated. Killers in valuing human dignity. The principle of literal is doing similar to what the victims, the penalty for rape and for arson, the burning down of the arsonist's house, we should not therefore put their life in death. Over 1% of prisoners are on the death row in America because the death penalty is. The other are in us, the other are the two citizens. That not be a wrong for the situation of an innocent person. It's an injustice that can never be rectified. That not be a reversible, absolute judgment may lead to people to make the crimes that they did not commit. A Texas man, a miracle, during that, was executed in Texas in 2004. For Algebra, setting a bar that killed his three brothers. Following his execution, further evidence, he felt that Willingham did not set the bar that caused their deaths, but came too late. That now they doesn't refer to him. There is no good evidence that the death of the prisoners trying more effectively to act this of them. In fact, Twenty years to seven years after abolishing the death penalty. In Canada, so 44 percent drug and murders across the country and it wasn't alone. That penalty leads you better if you are rich and will be if you are poor and innocent. Arguments by Marielle Peña. Penis. That penalty feels criminal. 
not innocent people. According to the people that I've interviewed, some of them said that that penalty is needed so that we can discipline criminals so they would not repeat their crimes and take more innocent lives. That penalty can give closure to the families of victims who have suffered a lot. It can also address the problem of overpopulation in the prisons. The punishment should fit the crime. Once you killed someone, you should be killed too. The purpose of this punishment is to serve as a deterrent to others who would like to follow the footsteps of the one being punished. The practice of death penalty reduces the number of very great criminal activities in society. Another argument is that for the capital punishment or death penalty is the fact that lessens the amount of money spent by the government on feeding certain criminals who are beyond reformation and who are no use to work. And lastly, there are certain times where families and friends of victims can only get some peace when they see the killers facing that penalty. To the presentation of more arguments by John Lewis Panic. No, sometimes that penalty kills innocent people because some of them are wrongly ex executed for political ambition. I think that over that our work has bad a profound effect on perception of death penalty by everyone in the Philippines and currently around the world. We from the opposition team believe that death penalty is completely wrong because this capital punishment kills wrongly innocent people. And we believe also that death penalty cannot give this instead it gives way to our country and especially to the family victims. Actually, a rebuttal to our claim made by some supporters of death penalty, the claim is the threat of capital opposition that death penalty do not agree and have a valid argument that, that they say the claims that capital punishment induce violent crime and is confusing and contain certainly not to be. Human rights are not be being observed. In the death penalty, accusing innocent people are completely wrong. The family of the person who is being accused by death penalty suffering. Death penalty is a form of revenge, while proponents say that imposing capital punishment is a form of retribution, that is to punish who has committed a crime. Opponent, opponents agree that it is revenge for the latter to avenge crime committed to another. Individuals may be understandable, but killing someone for murdering another person is also unconstitutional. It is a crime itself that is on, that is only masked by the term capital punishment and in truth not continues the series of violence. Okay, let's cover this time Lady Belinda Galvez, the first to present her first rebuttal. Defending negative arguments, Lady Delinda Galvez. Good afternoon once again to our audiences and especially to our judges. For me, no to death penalty. Because 
that faculty is completely wrong. The idea of putting another human to death is hard to completely fathom. The physical mechanics involved in the act of execution are easy to grasp, but the emotions involved in carrying out a death sentence on another person, regardless of how much they deserve it, is beyond my own understanding. However, this act is sometimes necessary and it is our responsibility as a society to see that it is done. Me, from the opposition side, have four argu arguments about capital punishment. For me, there is a possibility of error. However, the chance that there might be an error is separate from the issue of whether the death penalty can be justified or not. If an error does occur and an innocent person is executed, then the problem lies in the court system. Furthermore, most activities in our country in which humans are involved possess a possibility of injury or death. Second, the death penalty is not a deterrent to violent crime. Over the past 10 years, studies have attempted to prove the death penalty deters murder. The South, where 80% of all executions take place as a higher murder rate than the North. The death penalty is cruel and unusual punishment. In 2007, executions are on hold in over a dozen states and watch executions have put the lethal injection process under increasing scrutiny. In April 2005, in the British Medical Journal, the Lancet, a team of medical researchers, found serious flaws in how lethal injection, injections were being administered, causing extreme suffering to the prisoners being executed. The report found that in 43 of the 49 executed prisoners studied the anesthetic administered during lethal injection was lower than required for surgery. In 43% of cases, drug levels were consistent with awareness. The death penalty fails to recognize that guilty people have the potential to change, denying them the opportunity to ever join society. The death sentence says, some people are beyond redemption, beyond second chances, beyond being allowed to live in society. We disagree. We believe people deserve second chances. We actually think many people are on death row and in our prisons because they never got any first chances. Poverty, racism, neglect, violence, and mental illness are all issues impacting who becomes a criminal. Countless prisoners have also transformed their lives in spite of the horrific conditions behind prison bars that they are forced to endure. Executing those individuals or condemning them to die in prison denies their ability to fully participate and contribute in society. Last, if we do death penalty here in our country, Philippines, I think many people such as innocent will be executed because when suspect is truly an innocent, witnesses are only paid money by the rich victim or the victim just embarrassed the innocent suspect because they're rich, then what do you do to solve the solution if innocent person is the wrong suspect executed? Huh? Okay, thank you very much, Lady Dayan. The negative of the positive or affirmative side. Let's hear from Mark Hill, Villa Gracia. Good afternoon, everyone. But I really respect your opinion, opposing team. But death penalty couldn't be cruel anymore. When criminals escape from the capital punishment, they repeat their crimes and take more innocent lives. 
and according to wikipedia.com, during Spanish colonial rule, the most common methods of execution were death by fiery squad. Death by hanging was another popular method. The capital crimes of Regini, who was serving in July 1946, were murder, rape, and treason. On 1946 and 1986, other notable cases include Marshal Baby Ama, electrocuted at the age of 16 on October 4, 1961, for murders committed while in prison. Ama was an example of how people was harmfully dangerous to be with. And using the electric chairs methods was the only way to decrease the murders, the number of females that causes crimes, and yet usually the reason of how we would be affected like being killed by them. I know that we all wanted to be peaceful life. But how are we gonna achieve it if there's distractions and bad creatures like criminals? And even though that the death penalty wouldn't be approved in our country, it can decrease crime, crimes. And especially, it will do the increasing of crimes like rapes. And then the advantages of the death penalty. It shows that the justice system has no sympathy for the criminals. The availability of modern testings, such as DNA testing reduces the chances of punishing innocents. Therefore, capital punishment can be an effective tool to control the crimes. The death penalty can address the problem of overpopulation in our, in our prisons. It keeps closure to the families of the victims who have already suffered a lot. The criminals are soldiers of hell, the spreads of the wanted things by God. Without knowing them, without needing a big proof, they must be dead, as we were born in this world, to spread love and good to us. How can, how would the crimes will permanently erase in our country if there is no law to discipline us? So I therefore conclude that the death penalty was gratefully be passed in our country, as we believe the prostitutes that the death penalty is a big reason and a big role. It is to be us peace for life. Thank you. Okay. The, the fifth speaker from the negative team, second rebuttal. Thank you, affirmative group, for stating your statements and questions. I disagree with that penalty because there are other systems to discipline our country. And my question is, but what if innocent people will be wrongly executed? One of the arguments of opponents of that penalty is that inevitability of sending innocent people who are wrongly accused to death row and eventually execution. The sad thing about this, according to those who are opposed, is that innocence is proven after the execution has been carried out. Many people are suffering because of death penalty. Let us make Mary Day Velosa as an example. She is now in death row in Indonesia because she is accused that she made 2.5 kilos of heroin. But did she do it? Maybe she do it, but to the Indonesian government. But what if she is only an innocent person working in Indonesia for the family? Huh? Yeah. And if she is accused of that penalty, does the family will be happy? No. They will only need justice if they will know that their relative, Mary Jane Velosa, died even if she's innocent. This problem is an added cost to the government taxpayer, to the government and taxpayers' money. With the argument that life 
imprisonment is more expensive, opponents say that in general, the government spends more taxpayers' money in handling cases of death row inmates. This is due to the length of complexity of trials, the number of defenders to be hired, and the overall process. Some criminals are suffering from mental illness due to lockness of funds in our country because of these cases. Because of wrong execution, do the government have strategies to stop it? Do the crime decrease? Affirmative proof. Give me a reason, reasonable answer to defend yours. That penalty is really prohibited. Accordingly, Republic Act Number 8177, otherwise known as the Act Disciplinating Death by Lethal Injection, is hereby repealed. Republic Act Number 7659, otherwise known as the other known as the Death Penalty Law, the Declaration proclaims the right of every individual to protection from deprivation of life. It states that no one shall be subjected to cruel or degrading punishment. The death penalty violates both of these fundamental rights. The UN adopted the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, or ICCPR. The status of the planned prisoners on the state's death row, should the repeal survive the voter referendum, is uncertain. On August 2, 2016, the Delaware Supreme Court held that the states that no one capital sentencing procedures were struck down Delaware's death penalty statute. On August 15, the Delaware Attorney General's Office announced that it will not appeal the Supreme Court's ruling. Whether the Supreme Court's decision applies to the 13 people facing active death, sentence is not still unknown. Dr. Gross estimated that the death penalty cost states with capital punishment an average of 23.2 million pesos, more per year than alternative sentences. That penalty law, also known as the capital punishment law, covers issues related to the imposition of death as punishment for the commission of a crime. There are also states where death penalty is proven, like Alabama, Arizona, California, Tennessee, Utah, U.S. military, New Hampshire, and Ed Chapel. Others did not prove it, like Alaska in 1957, Connecticut in 2012, and also Delaware in 2016. Such of them, there are states with gubernatorial moratoria, like Pennsylvania in 2015, Colorado in 2013, and Ed That's all. Thank you. Okay. You're going to ask them? Okay, no one asked. Okay. You will answer the question of Nona. What was your question, Nona, a while ago? Did the government have strategies to stop it? And do they try what if innocent people will be wrongly executed? Okay, what if innocent people will be wrongly executed? So Mark will answer that question. About your, about what you say a while ago, that uh, innocent people will be executed too. No, innocent people will not be executed using the DNA testings. It was the way to prevent the innocent people to be not executed. Uh, can you clarify your answer, Mark? They will not be executed because using DNA testing. Okay, drug testing or DNA testing? Okay, so that is... But they are talking about death penalty. What if the... Is it the DNA testing? Were you talking about DNA, DNA testing? What if they will be wrongly executed with death penalty? You are pro-death penalty, right? 
you want death penalty to be the capital punishment for the poor, the heinous crimes that were committed by people. So their question is, what if innocent people will be wrongly executed? People who have not sinned, people who have not committed any wrong. So what will happen? Do you think it will really happen? Why? It will not happen because the prevention of having drug testing is a way of preventing the innocent people to be executed. Nona, would you like to react or anybody from the group would like to react on that answer? We are not talking for drugs. We are talking for death penalty. Maybe Lady can say further support to what Lona has said. I, but the drug is only the 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 but only drug is committed by the criminals. There are many such many such Lights. many such criminals that do rain tortures but not only drugs. <laughs> okay. So she meant that it is not only drug addicts who are put into death row, death penalty. They mean that there are some other crimes like rape cases, tort tor what? Torture. Okay. Treason. Okay, so there are other crimes committed that will be uh, that will be subjected, no? The, the criminal will be subjected to death penalty. Yes, support? Does other crime by rape, torture, is needed DNA test? Can you clarify your question? Does such crime like rape, torture, need DNA test? But for me, I I know that drug testing is only used for the drug users. No, there are medical testings for the rape victims. There are medical tests. Uh, he said that there are medical tests conducted for rape victims. Rape victims, but how about the criminals? We are talking about the criminals here. Okay, yes. If they are innocent people, it will not be strictly going to the jail. Because they're, they're court to get the evidences so that the... So that the... So that the rape... Rape cases will not be continuously going to jail. Okay? So any more reactions from the opposition group? What if rich, rich, rich people just paid the witnesses so that the innocent person will be executed to the jail? Did you get the question? What if rich people will end the closing statement of Isabella Pilios from the negative team, the presentation of the Hello, good afternoon, everyone. You only that act not here, but in other countries. You always tackle Republic acts not to defend your team. But the Republic Act is based in other countries. You tackle more examples in the capital punishment, America. So don't relate other countries in our country, Philippines, because we are not the same like other countries. Because you always said, according to and not to argues, when that penalty is true cause of revolution, it always brings war to the family 
justice. Who needed justice? Many people suffer because of this law that do not have justice. Therefore, that penalty is not good to our country because it always brings wars and bad things. So, you mean criminal here in our country, you will kill because of that penalty are together are together with the punish criminal just like forever in the prison or maybe some Filipino can change. For now, let's give peace. Every human has a chance, second chance. Every human change. But this death penalty has died some people truly like Satan. But it can be dangerous instead because it can be habit of people. That's all. Thank you.